For five years I've been in touch with Shatchanim and I haven't gotten a single call from any of them. You think the Shatchan system needs to change? <laughs> what do you think about Shabbatons or meetings for groups of boys and girls? You know, sometimes a shidduch happens through a shatchan. Sometimes it happens through a friend. Sometimes it happens just by accident. It's a mystery. How it happens, when it happens. All you need to do is put in a little effort. You don't have to figure it out. Put in a little effort and the Ebrishter sends your shidduch. It's not up to the shatchan. It's not up to friends. And if you think, you know, women say, I ended up never getting married because those shatchanim, what do you think, they run the world? <laughs> they think they do, but they don't. <laughs> so you have to say, behave yourself or you'll never get a shidduch. Says who? <laughs> you have to believe because it's true. You have to believe that every shidduch is a miracle. The souls that need to find each other in this big, wide world find each other? It's a miracle. <coughs> Shatchanim don't do miracles. Their job is not to perform miracles. Their job is to lie to you. <laughs> so that the miracle can happen. But they don't do miracles. The person you're supposed to marry, you're supposed to marry, and therefore you will marry, and no shatchan can stop it, no matter how bad she is. You're not dependent on a shatchan. You call the shatchan because you're supposed to make your efforts. So you do what you need to do, and the rest is up to heaven where all matches come from. All matches are made in heaven. And therefore it is a miracle. It's a divine intervention. The Abishta has to personally make it happen because nobody else can. In fact, you look at most marriages, most marriages and you have to marvel. Who would have thought? Him and her? No way. <coughs> Works. That's why Shatchanim have to be a little blind, deaf, and dumb. <laughs> to them it has to make sense that he should marry her. Don't make sense to anybody else. But if it's bashert, that's what's going to happen. So when you try to make sense of it, when you try to use logic, he should marry her, she should marry him. No, they should swap wives because that... <laughs> they made a mistake there. He's more good for her. She's not... Stop it. Marriages should do him. Husbands and wives, there's no sense, no rhyme, nor reason. It's just the way it has to be. So when you get married and you realize the husband, the man you chose, is not anything like you thought he was, and therefore in your mind, there's no way the two of you should be married to each other, now you know you're married. <laughs> but if you're married to some guy and you wake up in the morning and you think, wow, Perfect. I'm so perfect for him, and he's so perfect for me. Wake up, you're dreaming. <laughs> That's not a marriage. That's a book. It's a novel. 
marriages don't make sense. You and your husband <coughs> have no reason to be together other than the fact that you belong to each other. 